Hi, I'm Lonnie Fisher with Pure Unique Massage. I am here today to show you how to do at-home stone massage. You're going to need a few things to get started. One, you will need your crock pot with water in it to keep your rocks nice and hot. You will then need five river rocks. Feel free to go outside and grab them. You do not need to go to the store to buy them. They must be river rocks because that is what holds the heat inside of the stone. So you're going to need four river rocks that are the size of your palm to be able to massage with. They have to fit in your palm so you can massage with them. And then you're going to need one large stone that's about the size of your hand to be able to apply over your participant's sacrum. And then you will need a pair of tongs. I personally like tongs that have a rubber grip. You have oil on your hands and they will slip out when you're grabbing them from the water. And then you're also going to need a towel so that way as you grab the rock out, you can put that hot rock on the towel and dry it off before applying it to your participant. And then you will need oil so that way you can conduct and move the rocks across the skin. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's grab out our first three rocks. So our largest rock, which is gonna go over the sacrum, and then our two palm-sized rocks for our hands to massage with. So after you grab out the rocks, set them on top of your towel, which should be located right next to your crock pot. Go ahead and dry those off. Come back to your participant and apply a little bit of oil along their back and down their arms so that way the rocks can move smoothly over their skin. Now go ahead and apply extra oil to your hands before picking up your rocks. You're going to take your first rock, your largest rock, and apply it right over their sacrum. You're going to take your two smaller rocks that fit into the side or the size of the palm of your hand. You're going to grab those. You're going to move them around so that way you can get oil over them. Now you're going to take your hands with the rocks in them and you're going to apply them on either side of the spine, like so. Turning the rocks downward, not over the spine, always to the side of the spine. You're going to start up at the neck. You're going to come all the way down the spine, ending at the sacrum, going across the hip bone and coming back up pulling through to the top of the neck. And then you're going to do that again. And you can repeat that move up to four times. Our second move that we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking our rocks and turning them to the side. So now we're using the pointed side of the rock. We're going to start at the sacrum along each side of the spine directly above the sacrum. You're going to take your rocks, you're going to apply pressure straight down and then you're going to move your rocks outward, away from the spine. What we're doing is we're working that erector spinae. It's what helps us have good posture, keeps us standing up all day long, and it is always tight. So you're going to take this move and you're going to go all the way up the spine, ending at the base of the neck. Now while you still have the rocks in this position, your next move you're going to want to do is going along the side of the scapulas. So you're going to take the rocks and you're going to apply pressure from the scapula outward. Now you can repeat this in the opposite direction. You're going to take the spine of the rock and you're going to apply pressure going inward toward that scapula. So never are you over the top of the bone of the scapula. This is just the ridge of the scapula that you're going along. And always check in with your participant on pressure. How's the pressure? Doing good. Okay. Now once you have completed those, then you're going to be taking your rocks and you're going to have them flat again, the flat side down, and you're going to go along the top of the scapula just doing circles. Now this is very light pressure here. Not a lot of pressure because you are over the top of their bone. You're going to take the rock and you're going to go down the arm, applying light pressure, and you always want to lighten up over any joint in the body. So go ahead and lift the rock up a little bit as you go over the joint of the elbow and then apply pressure again as you go over the forearm and in in the hand. And then you can pull this back up through the neck. So those are the moves that you can do that are very relaxing stone massage at home for you and your loved ones. And if for any reason your rocks do become hot, you can always flip them over to the other side 
and massage with the opposite side. And you can change them out if they get cold. So feel free to take these rocks, put them back in your hot water, use your tongs and grab out your next two rocks to start massaging with. These moves can be repeated over and over again. We hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching.